today we're gonna have a little bit of fun with some blues and some oranges. I've already created this look with an eye tutorial, but I wanna show you guys what to pair it with on the rest of your face because I did have a lot of questions. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. It's a little bit of fun. Let's get started. So let's start off with the eyes. We're gonna be using this palette, which is a mixture between kind of ready tones and blue tones, which is really cool. You wanna make sure you start off with a blank canvas. So really cover up those lids with primer, concealer, especially when you're using blues. The first shade that we're gonna take is this terracotta shade, and I'm gonna apply this with a blending brush all over the crease area, but also a little bit on the lid as well. Don't worry if it comes down a little too far. Just make sure you're kind of concentrating mostly in the crease because this will create that nice blend for us. Next, we're gonna take the lighter of the two blue shades and we're gonna apply this all over the lid. So I wanted you to really saturate the lid starting at the lash line and then working up. Use your fingertips, a flat brush, a damp brush, whatever way to really get this product on those lids. Then we're also gonna take the lighter shade, which is the highlight shade, and apply this in the inner corner. Because it's going over the top of the blue, it changes it from a very light kind of warm shade to like a more bluey, silvery tone because it's going over the top of the blue. And you can also apply this underneath your brows. Just make sure there's no blue pickup on your brush because we don't really want that blue tone underneath the brows. And so that's kind of your basic look. We're gonna to add to it now, and we're gonna then take the darker blue shade and we're gonna apply this in the outer corner. Now, I also picked up a little bit of the bronzy shade from this palette and applied this on the outer edge as well. So I kind of mixed up those last two shades together just to add a slightly different tone on that outer edge. And this just creates a little bit more dimension to the look. I then took that terracotta shade and once I've applied my lashes and all that kind of stuff, I then apply this underneath the lashes. So right on that lower lash line, just to kind of bring the look together. And so that is the eye look done. And then for the face, what I would recommend using is a good bronzer. Love Fenty Beauty bronzers because they're a nice cool tone for me. I am quite cool toned at the moment. Could have done with a little bit of fake tan for this particular look, but I do think that it still kind of works. And I'm basically applying the bronzer, sweeping it across the cheeks, so kind of up across the cheeks, rather than back towards the ear. Just creates a slightly different shaping. I then took a little bit of that terracotta shade on my kind of blending brush, and I just applied this on the top of my blush brush then, and just tapped this over the cheeks, just to bring the look together, once again, using those shades so it kind of all synchronizes. And then for highlighter, I basically mimic the same kind of shading that was in the palette just to bring the look together once again. How many times have I said that today? And I just applied this with a fan brush. If you don't have this fan brush in your life, you need it. It is magical and beautiful and so soft and just applies your highlight perfectly. Now for my lips, I'm gonna show you guys my little trick that I do for my lips. Bear with me, this is a very dark shade and it's a little strange, but wait a second. So basically everybody's lips have two different lip lines, which is your colored lip line and then your white lip line. If you apply a darker shade to that white lip line, you're gonna end up creating a fullness of your lips. You're basically going to not overline your lips onto your skin, you're just going over the white line that everybody has. You're gonna look a little crazy, don't worry about it. <laughs> and then you're gonna take a full coverage liquid lipstick, it's gotta be full coverage, and you're gonna apply this over everything that you've already applied. And this will give you that appearance of fuller lips without the really obvious sign that you've overlined. And so there you go, that is the finished look. If I was a little tanner, this look would look a little bit better, but I wanted to show you guys this look anyway because I love it. I did apply fake tan, but it hadn't developed yet. But if you were a little bit more bronzier than me, then you could definitely wear this look. 